This is Joey Marchi, undoubtedly the only person who rode his bike to the Club Paris VIP opening. I'm going to be doing some interviews tonight and just going to let the camera run and see what we get. All right, see you inside. All right, we just got to the landing. It's about 9.40 and uh, pretty dead. Uh, you can see the pink car, actually, screw that. Uh, pink carpet. I'm gonna move right down here. Hmm. Hmm. Nobody here. You been pretty busy? No? Not really? Alright, we'll go see what's inside. I think the pink carpet's actually the only way in. You have to. You have to follow it upstairs into Club Paris. So far, we haven't encountered any resistance. Everyone's just kind of milling around, hanging out. I don't know how good the video is going to be inside. It looks like it's going to be pretty dark. So, um, let's we'll keep following the pink carpet and uh, kind of see what's going on. There's a bunch of people uh, riding up the escalator and then just riding back down, kind of see what's going on. But you can't see crap, can you? <laughs> Alright, we'll uh, turn it back on when we get inside. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but there was actually, there was no resistance whatsoever getting in. No one gave a crap about what I was wearing. No one looked in my bag. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much it. Easy to get in, and um, now we're going to go in and see if we can find some people we know. It's really hot upstairs. We're um, we're downstairs at the bar trying to get a drink right now. I saw one person I knew already when I came in, but uh, I hadn't seen her in a while, so we didn't talk for very long. I'll try and find some people to interview. All right, signing off. Time to leave Club Paris. Let's see what time is it? I think I was in there for like 15 minutes, <laughs> but. Good news, I talked to Tony Slayman on the way out, and um, Tony confirmed a rumor that he is trying to get a Walgreens put in Springfield. I convinced Tony to give me an interview, so um, he asked me to give him a call in two weeks. So I'm gonna give him a call and we're gonna talk about a Walgreens in Springfield. And what I heard from from uh, a friend of mine is that Tony's looking to buy the wall the the ABC liquors at well I guess it's right next to Shans uh, right across the street from the McDonald's um, ABC liquors in Springfield is pretty much a rundown piece of crap um, it's a it's a horrible shopping experience if you've ever been in there you walk inside and you can only go as far as about 10 feet before you're confronted with um, a row of burglar bars that spans the, the entire length of the storefront. Then you have to stand at the burglar bars and place your order through bars and the uh, counter attendants will go and get your drinks. Um, so, the rumor has been confirmed. Tony is looking to build a Walgreens in Springfield. Uh, how far he is in the process or whether it will happen or not is, you know, to be determined. So, thoughts on Club Paris? Um, I, I, I said this when I was inside, but I pretty much walked in without any type of, like, clothing inspection, which I thought I wasn't gonna get in because I'm wearing jeans. And no one looked at my bag, no one cared about my camera. I mean, they looked at my pass. And I do have a media pass, but um, no one cared about my cameras. And there was, there's not really any difference between having a media pass and having a regular VIP pass. Uh, supposedly, you're supposed to be able to only have access to upstairs if you had the media pass. But I was able to access all of upstairs except for the, the roped off private area. Uh, which I heard Slayman say they were selling those spaces for a thousand dollars a pop. Um, 
So, I went to Club Paris. I popped my collar. Uh, had an alright time. But now it's time to take the bike back home and uh, drink a beer. Alright, later. So, have you guys seen any celebrities? Maybe some celebrities are gonna get out of the uh, is that Actionville limousine. No, Chris Tucker's supposed to show up. Well, he's got a show tonight, all right? Yeah, yeah. So he'll probably get close to midnight or something. Ugh. So did the Bush girls ever show up? Uh, I did not see them. You did not see them? I did not see them. Well, you know, if you can stay here for a little bit longer, I'll just excuse you. to go home, but then I called Daniel Blanchard and Let's see if I can find some better light. Dun, 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 dun. That's a little better. Okay. So, I was going to go home, but uh, I called Daniel Blanchard and he was at Mongo's getting some food, so I decided to not go home. Come back to Club Paris, meet up with him, have some drinks, and uh, after five or six drinks, Club Paris actually started getting a little bit more fun. Um, but uh, now it's it's about time to go. So it's 12 o'clock, and um, the pink carpet is still dead. I thought that would be a nice note to end the night. Kind of show the landing with its pink carpet and it extends all the way from Club Paris on the second floor down the escalators, snakes through the landing on the first floor, out on the stairs and down the walkway all the way to Bay Street. Or is this Water Street? <laughs> All the way to Water Street. The big limos are rolling in. See one over here on the left. But, uh, that doesn't mean anything. There's no celebrities here. They, they said, uh, Bruce Willis was gonna be here, and one of the Bush daughters, and Brad and Angelina. <laughs> but they're not here. The only celebrities here are JSO. JSO Bike Cops. I figured that was... <laughs> A good note to end on for the night, so I'm gonna head home, time to hit the bike, move through Springfield, uh, get back home. Bye.